Hello, today I will introduce to you the biofactory of Nest. We will look at the pain points and needs of industrial clients, the characteristics of Nest products, and the comparison between Nest products and those of other competitors. Here you can see the culture expansions of cells, from a single culture flask to several flasks, then to a larger culture container. Shake flasks are mainly for the culture of suspension cells, also for adherent cells, cell culture reactors, roller flask, and biofactory. In the past, many enterprises use roller flasks for culture of adherent cells. The working principle of roller flasks is that the slow rolling of the flask facilitates the nutrition uptake and metabolism of cells meanwhile giving the cells a chance to be exposed to gases. However, roller flasks need heavy labor intensity and large space occupation. More importantly, it is difficult to control the intra-flask difference. Presently, it has been reported that roller bottles as a technique for large-scale production may be replaced by biofactory to achieve automated sterile filling because biofactory may enable such automation. Nest has launched biofactory products as a solution for large-scale culture of adherent cells. The raw material for cell factories is PS, and PS itself is a fragile material that is susceptible to stress and brittlement. If we fill a large amount of culture medium in the factory, the medium and gas generated by cell metabolism will produce large pressures simultaneously on the seams, so cracks are easy to occur between the layers, leading to liquid leak. We have made several reinforcing ribs on the top surface to ensure that the entire container is strong enough to resist the pressure. 100% side leakage test is performed for Nest Biofactory to ensure that every biofactory has qualified leak proofing. To better meet the GMP requirements as implemented by our clients, all our products are manufactured in 10,000 level clean plant with individual sterile double layering packaging. Here are the production and quality inspection processes of Nest Biofactory. The raw material we use is polystyrene that complies with the USP VI standards. The production environment is a 10,000 level clean plant. The process used is ultrasonic soldering. The products undergo several tests for leak proofing, biosafety, physical and chemical safety. The ultrasonic soldering process can greatly reduce the risk of unknown leachables without any added costs. The unique and indigenous soldering line designs of nest efficiently avoids the generation of particles during soldering. These are pictures of production and sterilization sites showing our clean and tidy feed system 10,000 level clean plants, our processing equipment, and sterile production line. Some clients may ask, how can I observe the condition and growth status of cells since the biofactory has so many layers? If feasible, some clients may buy microscopes with large side focus lens for observation. However, such microscopes are not common in the market. Major clients observe the bottom surface with the naked eye and judge the cell growth status based on their experience. For inexperienced clients, we suggest that they use a single layer biofactory as a parallel control group to judge the cell growth status in the multi-layer biofactory by observing the cell growth status in the single layer factory under the same culture conditions. There are several mainstream cell factories on the market. NUNC and Corning are the most popular brands in the market. Nest also is being recognized and accepted by more and more clients as a rising star. 
Currently, clients using our products include multiple listed companies in the Chinese government or national institute. Among our competitors, NUNC uses the ultrasonic soldering technology, just like Nest, while Corning adopts the adhesive technology. The ultrasonic soldering avoids the risk of leachable. Corning offers only large opening cell factories, while Nest bio factories have various specifications available to meet the experiment needs of different clients. Large opening, small opening, double large openings, and double small openings. Take a look at the details of the biofactory. We can see that the feed inlet of Nest biofactory are wider than those of other brands. So the feeding speed is faster and overflowing is less likely to occur. The top and the main body of Nest biofactory are molded as one piece, while other brands use embedded inlets. The embedded design possesses certain safety risks. If liquid remains in the gap during the operation, bacteria may grow. Thirdly, the unique design of the petal pattern distributed pores ensures airflow and is more conductive to cell culture. The packaging style of BioFactory is to ensure the product integrity during transport. As we can see, there is additional multi-layer protections inside the carton, making them hard to be damaged and more suitable for long distance travel. These are comparisons of cell adherence between the Nest BioFactory and those from competitor brands. The performances are similar in terms of cell status and common multiple of amplification. Here are shown the parts of Nest BioFactory. Our BioFactory have two different feed inlets available, large opening ones and small opening ones. The operation of large opening ones can also be performed in two ways manual liquid adding and automatic operations via connection of tubing. For clients who want to connect tubing with our large opening cell factory, they can buy our medium opening transfer cover to change the large opening into a small one. This transfer cover completely fits with the opening of the Corning cell factory. So clients can use our transfer cover on a Corning cell factory without any problems. The connection of the tubing may be completed using a medium opening transfer cover plus a white adapter. The small opening biofactory are mainly used in the automatic operations. The small opening product can be connected to a tubing via a white adapter. No transfer cover needed. Normally a filter, a clamp, and other fittings are attached on the tubing. These are three combined packages that we have designed. Premium package is a combined package of tandem connection, while basic and light packages are for venting. The difference between the basic and the light packages are that there is no white adapter in the light package, and the tube can be connected with the small opening transfer cover, catalog number 740301, directly. The premium package includes a medium open transfer cover, a tube clamp, a small opening adapter, an air filter, and a 15M long silicone tube. The 15M long silicone tube can connect around 10 cell factories in series. It should be noted that clients need to buy other parts required for tandem connection based on their respective needs. These photos show the manual operating process of an individual biofactory. The manual operation should be conducted by professional technicians with strong sterile operations awareness. The liquid pouring must be performed smoothly. During liquid pouring, attention should be paid so that the liquid shouldn't hung on the opening of the cell factory. A certain distance should be kept between the container opening and the bottle opening from which the liquid is poured out to avoid contact. Funnels may be used to prevent liquid splash. As in this video, during the drainage of the cell factory, a peristaltic pump is used to fill liquid into the biofactory.
Next, we'll learn about the convectional connection method of the biofactory. There are two openings on a cell factory. Generally, one is connected with an air filter for gas exchange and the other is connected with a tube. Usually the tube is also connected with an air filter using a Y-shaped three-way connector. Meanwhile, the other port is connected with a large reservoir bag for liquid or other biofactory. As shown in the picture, to connect multiple biofactories in series, only a T is needed to connect the tubes in series as in the picture. When adding liquid, turn the biofactory down on its side with the inlet down. Fill the liquid into the biofactory using a peristaltic pump, and the precise control of liquid volume into each biofactory is realized by closing or opening the tube clamps according to the actual situation. Some of our clients also adopt a connection approach like this. The biofactory is connected to the waste bottle, digestion bottle, and wash bottle via a tubing system. The inflow of various liquids and outflow of the solution containing cells are enabled by the forward control and reverse control of the peristaltic pump to promise the automatic operation of the entire process. Close the switches above the digestion bottle and the wash bottle. Pump the liquid out into a waste bottle. Close the switch above the waste bottle and open the switch above the wash bottle to pump the wash solution into the biofactory. Then pump the liquid out into the waste bottle after washing. In general, different operations are enabled by the cooperation of the switches and the peristaltic pump. The major client groups of Biofactory include companies of human and veterinary vaccines, vaccine research institutes, and companies of cell therapies and stem cell therapies. In the future, we will also launch training videos for sales skills targeting these corporate clients.